So after second line osmertinib, which is where we know more uh, now um, than we know about first line osmertinib, just because we've had more experience with it over the last few years. So after second line, by nature of being second line, patients have already received um, a first or second generation EGFR inhibitor, and then they're receiving second line osmertinib. So more commonly, we see patients who have T790M in addition to an acquired uh, mechanism resistance to osimertinib. So for example, we'll see patients who develop the EGFR uh, mutation C797S in addition to T790M. So that's one uh, mechanism of resistance that we'll see to osimertinib. Whereas when we um, use osimertinib in the first line, what we're starting to see is T790M does not appear to develop. Now this is very small numbers of patients. We're really just starting to understand resistance to first line osimertinib, but it does not appear that T790M will be playing a role. Um, instead, we'll be seeing different ne mechanisms of resistance, such as C797S alone. Um, MET amplification does seem to play a role um, in either setting, whether it will be more or less common when you use it first line or second line, that remains to be seen. I think also small cell transformation, we do see that after second line osimertinib, whether we see it after first line, again, I'm not sure yet. I think that data is something that we, we uh, still need to, to understand better.